Lesson 31, we are adding mixed numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have two mixed numbers and I'm going to add them together. When we add mixed numbers, we are going to do these two steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the whole. Okay, we represent the whole by the large numbers here. So this is a whole and this is the whole. All right, and then after we do that, we're going to add the fraction. All right, so fraction, fraction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the whole. The holes here are four and three, okay? We have four plus three is seven. Next, we add the fraction. I have one-fourth plus two-fourths, and that gives me three-fourths. So my final answer all together is seven plus three-fourths, which is equal to seven and three-fourths. All right, pretty easy peasy. Let's try another one. Now remember, we're gonna add the whole, add the fraction, add the whole, add the fraction. So, two and two, six, plus six and four, six. So, we're going to first look at the holes. All right, my holes here are two and six. So, I'm going to add two plus six. Two plus six is eight. The next thing I'm going to add is the fractions. So two, six, plus four, six. That's the same as six, six. And remember, when the numerator and denominator is the same, you have a whole. So all together, if I put my blue and red together, you get purple, right? But you also have eight plus one gives you nine. So the final answer here is nine. All right, let's try another one. I have one and three fourths plus three and three fourths. Remember, I'm going to add the whole and add the fraction. So my whole is one and three. One plus three is four. Then I'm going to add the fraction. I have three-fourths and three-fourths. Three-fourths plus three-fourths is six-fourths. All right? Now, all together, if I put my fraction and my whole together, I have four and six-fourths. Now, remember, six-fourths is an improper fraction, so we need to turn that into a mixed number. So four fourths and two fourths is the same as one and two fourths. I need to add that to the four. So I have four plus one and two fourths. And that's like a lesson we had earlier, which is five and two fourths. So the answer to this entire problem is five and two fourths. All right, let's do one more, and then it's your turn. Three and three eighths plus two and six eighths. So I'm going to start with adding the whole. Here's the whole. Three plus two is equal to five. And then I'm going to add the fraction. So I have three eighths plus six eighths, and that gives me nine eighths. So all together, I have five and nine eighths, but remember nine eighths is an improper fraction, so we need to make that a mixed number. That's eight eighths and one eighth. That's equal to one and one eighth. I need to add that here. So five, right here, five plus one and one eighth is equal to six and one eighth. All right, now it's your turn. Here are three problems I would like you to bring in for your homework. Go ahead and solve them and please make sure you use the same strategy that we used so you can get full credit on your homework tonight. 
So these three problems, the first one is two and three eighths plus one and five eighths. The second one I would like you to do is three and four fifths plus two and three fifths. And the last one I would like you to do is four and four six plus one and three six. And remember, make sure you use mixed numbers. No improper fractions. So if you add and you get an improper fraction, you need to turn it into a mixed number. All right, guys? I will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.